In this video, I'd like to discuss multiplying algebraic terms. Now, if you watch my video on simplifying expressions, you remember when adding or subtracting algebraic expressions, you can only combine terms that have the same variable and the same exponent. For example, in this problem, 4x and 2x have the same variable, so these are like terms, which means they can be combined. So 4x plus 2x equals 6x. And 7y and 3y also have the same variable, so they can be combined as well. 7y minus 3y equals positive 4y. And remember, when adding and subtracting algebraic expressions, terms with different variables cannot be combined. So in this case, we don't have any more like terms. So the expression has been simplified. But what if instead of adding the terms 6x and 4y, we were multiplying them? Well, unlike with addition and subtraction, when multiplying algebraic terms, terms that are not alike can be brought together. Now remember, when a number is next to a variable, it means the number is being multiplied by that variable. So this means that 6 is being multiplied by x and 4 is being multiplied by y. So to bring all of these terms together, I'm going to start by multiplying the numbers and then multiplying the variables. So let's first multiply 6 by 4. And 6 multiplied by 4 equals 24. And now that we've multiplied the numbers, let's multiply the variables x and y next. Now, since we're multiplying two unknown values, we can remove the multiplication symbol and simply place both variables next to each other. And last, the number 24 is being multiplied by the variables x and y. And remember, when a number is next to a variable, it means that they are being multiplied. So we don't need to include the multiplication symbol here. We can simply write 24 next to x, y. So 6x multiplied by 4y equals 24x, y. Okay, let's try another one. Again, let's start by multiplying the numbers first and then multiplying the variables. So let's take the numbers seven and three and multiply. And seven multiplied by three equals 21. Now, let's take our answer 21 and multiply by the remaining number in the expression four. And 21 multiplied by four equals 84. And now that we've multiplied the numbers, let's multiply the variables. So let's multiply a and b first. And a multiplied by b equals ab. Now, let's take our answer, ab, and multiply it by the remaining variables in the expression, c. And ab multiplied by c equals abc. And last, since 84 has been multiplied by ABC, we can simply write 84 next to ABC. So 7A multiplied by 3B multiplied by 4C equals 84 ABC. Okay, let's try one more. And again, let's start by multiplying the numbers first and then multiplying the variables. So let's take the numbers 4, and 9 and multiply. And 4 multiplied by 9 equals 36. Now let's take our answer 36 and multiply it by the remaining number in the expression 2. And 36 multiplied by 2 equals 72. And now that we've multiplied the numbers, let's multiply the variables. So let's multiply x and y first. Now let's take x and y and multiply it by the remaining variable in the expression z. And xy multiplied by z equals xyz. And last, since 72 is being multiplied by xyz, we can simply write 72 
next to XYZ. If you like this video, please subscribe to Mr. McLean Math. And also, be sure to click all so that you get notifications when new math videos are uploaded. Thank you for watching.